And in Peru, there may be a changing of the guard. A former army rebel who wants a bigger state role in the economy is claiming victory in that country's presidential election. With us now from Lima, Bloomberg's Alex Emery. Alex, uh, Mr. Umala is claiming victory in the election, but the official tally is still very, very close, isn't it? Yes, but one has to remember that while uh, Mrs. Fujimori, the first-term congresswoman who is his rival, may get some more votes from the 700,000 Peruvians voting abroad, uh, Mr. Mala still has a lot of votes coming in from very remote rural areas who tend to vote for him and certainly voted for him in the first round in April. So uh, it's, it's very likely that he will re re retain his edge. Okay, so much has been made of Ollanta Humala's uh, support in the past for strongman Hugo Chavez. What are the chances that he turns Peru into the next Venezuela? Well, Mr. Humala has uh, been very careful to point out that he's trying to copy really more the Brazilian model along the lines of former President Lula, uh, who did increase social spending uh, to try to reduce poverty while uh, retaining the, the economic model that has been so successful in countries like Peru, which has really led the region in economic growth in the past five years. So people are hoping that he will kind of shy away from his mentor, uh, who he had planned to copy five years ago, and uh, pro uh, provide a more moderate side. Uh, but, but at the very least, Alex, investors don't seem to trust uh, Umala uh, to keep Peru Latin America's fastest growing country, they're voting with their feet this morning. Yes, indeed. Uh, investors do not see uh, eye to eye with Mr. Mata's uh, plans. He certainly has pledged things, everything from a mining windfall tax to limiting natural gas exports and an increased state role in the economy. So uh, at the very least, we can see, uh, certainly foresee a plunge in, in the stock market and the proven currency and bonds in, in the short-term future until Mr. Umala is clear on his plans and, and uh, puts together a ministerial cabinet, which I think people are hoping that he will do uh, uh, quicker, as quick as possible. Alex, you just mentioned the possibility of a mining tax. Peru is Latin America's, if I'm not mistaken, third largest copper producer. Uh, some of the mines owned by the Southern Copper Corporation are among uh, the biggest generators of, of uh, dollar-based capital in the country. What, 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 how, let's say, might his election, if in fact he does become the next president, change investment plans companies like Southern may have in Peru? Yeah, there are a lot of miners uh, have lined up investment projects. Uh, Peru has been very careful and has been working hard to line these up. There's over $50 billion in projects from everyone from Extrata to Anglo-American and Southern Copper. Certainly a lot of these miners uh, have uh, said that they probably will delay, if not shelve, some projects entirely if the, the rules of the game are changed and stiffer taxes are put through. However, some of the precious metals miners, you have to remember the Peru is the world's sixth largest gold miner and the world's largest silver producer as well, uh, have said that they could uh, pay more taxes if prices remain high. So uh, it, it's very much wait and see uh, at the moment. How, do, how does Umala respond to those kinds of threats? We've heard mining companies the world over say they will not invest money here or there if the rules of the game change. But demand for copper is so high right now, you can't imagine uh, companies foregoing the opportunity to exploit a uh, viable deposit. Indeed, Mr. Mala has actually softened his stance, uh, whereas uh, in, in the past he has said that they would basically decree a lot of these changes. Now he is, he is looking for more dialogue and consensus and hopefully to sit down and negotiate with companies so they don't lose this, uh, uh, this good moment for Peru's economy and to continue to bring investment in because obviously this is what has led to so much job creation and the gradual reduction of poverty which is uh, one of the reasons why Ms. Dumala has been uh, apparently elected. Alex, thanks so much. Bloomberg's Alex Emery in Lima on the hotly contested Peruvian election. Right now, Ollanta Umala leading Keiko Fujimori, the daughter of Peru's jailed former president.